Hello, everybody. Jim Powers from MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision as we get ready for another weekend of basketball here at the Simon Center. And joining us are the men's basketball team's head coach, Kevin Carroll. And Kevin, let's talk a little bit about Quincy and Truman last weekend. Just a couple games where a run at the, towards the middle of the first half just really, really put us behind the eight ball. Yeah, uh, you know, and those two teams are in first and second place in the division for a reason. They have good teams, you know, and uh, we just could not uh, match up with Quincy's interior players uh, on Thursday. And, you know, like you said, at the end of the first half, it was a three-point game uh, that turned into a, uh, you know, a 14-point game, I believe, have, or a 12-point game at halftime, you know. Uh, so you can't – you got to play for 40 minutes. We've been talking to our guys about that. Uh, I think we we saw that in, that, that in the Quincy game. And then, you know, just the inability to uh, defend the three-point line in the second game on Saturday was uh, was the difference in the game. Yeah, that was just a game that, that everything that Quincy threw up – or Truman threw up from beyond the arc, especially in the second half. We haven't seen – we were talking about this on the bus. We haven't seen him shoot it like that from beyond the arc in, in a couple years. Well, uh, I don't know. I mean, they they lead the league in uh, in three-point field goal attempts and makes. Uh, we knew they, they were going to be able to do that. They're just they're, – they're, their movement is very difficult to defend. They're very well coached. And, uh, you know, uh, they just – they really performed very well and, and made the most of the shots they got. Let's talk a little bit about Carson King. And, and I think Carson – has really come a long way since the beginning of the season. You know, red shirt coming in, getting into the starting lineup, and he's really started to do some really, really nice things for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Carson, we're very excited about him and his future here. You know, he just he's one of those guys that just kind of knows where all 10 people are on the floor at all times, um, has a great feel for the game. Uh, when he's locked in defensively, you know, he's really helping our team. Um, you know, so uh, he, he's a guy that's just a, a good fit for the way we play and, and uh, has really done uh, an amicable job, you know, pro probably playing a little bit out of position this year with the loss of Evan Booker for the season um, and has filled into that position uh, very well. The two things I noticed from him, number one, he can see the floor and he's made some great passes. It may not show up so much on the assist column, but just some passes leading to another pass and back cutting, especially in the motion offense we run. He's just made some great cuts and some great reads. Yeah, he, he has a really good feel for how to set himself up to get open and, and kind of the spots to fill on the floor to uh, to find himself open for layups when the defense helps, you know. So, you know, him in particular, him and Damian really play well together. Yeah. Uh, those two guys t seem to know where each other are at all times. And, uh, you know, in Truman game, they, had, they each had – some really nice passes to each other for layups and, um, you know, really excited to see some of that stuff happening. Let's talk about this weekend. Obviously, a nice little stretch of games now, four games at home. Starts off with Rockhurst, who's playing, you know, playing better than what we've seen over the last couple of years. What have you guys as coaching staff been able to see from Rockhurst on film? Well, you know, they have a new coach this year, Drew Diener, who's done a, a fabulous job with his team. I mean, and uh, it comes as no surprise, he, you know, you don't win a national championship, which he did at the NAIA level uh, without being a great coach. And, uh, you know, their, their team has improved uh, as much as any team I've probably seen from one year to the next, mm -hmm. uh, especially on the defensive end of the, of the floor. Uh, very good defensive team. Um, play with, uh, you know, a ton of energy. They, they play for him, play very hard for him. Uh, he's done a tremendous job. It'll be a very, very difficult game. They've got, uh, you know, they've got a lot of juniors and seniors, right. uh, including a senior big man who's one of the best uh, bigs in our league. It'll be very difficult to, to stop. Outstanding stuff, Kevin. Social media night tonight, so we want to get everybody out to the Simon Center and have a little bit of fun. All right. Thank you. Kevin Carroll joins us. We'll have all the action for you on Saints Vision tonight, plus at social media tonight. So make sure you're hashtagging all your tweets tonight, Social Saint. And also we want to make sure you're following us on Twitter, on our Twitter feed, at Maryville Saints. For Coach, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints.